an ancient toe bone was discovered in the East Gallery of Denisova Cave in the Altai Mountains of southern Siberia. But genetic analysis of the toe bone's mitochondrial DNA suggested that it belonged to a Neanderthal, rather than a Denisovan. Recent analysis confirmed that the toe bone belonged to a Neanderthal. This ancient toe bone provided the first high-coverage genome of Neanderthals. The Altai Neanderthal is the name given to this Neanderthal from Denisova Cave. The Altai Neanderthal is thought to be 120,000 years old, dating to the last interglacial warm period. Now scientists estimate that 6% of the Altai Neanderthal genome is of anatomically modern human origin. The study, titled Diverse African Genomes Reveal Selection on Ancient Modern Human Introgressions in Neanderthals, was published in the Journal of Cell Biology. Surprisingly, European Neanderthals, whose nuclear DNA has been recovered, are genetically more similar to one another than to the Altai Neanderthal. Nevertheless, it is believed, based on tools found in the cave, that the Altai Neanderthals migrated from Eastern Europe, rather than the Middle East. However, modern humans share more genes with all other Neanderthals than with the Altai Neanderthal. This indicates that the introgression event from Neanderthals into humans, occurred after the Altai Neanderthals lineage was split from that of other Neanderthals. According to the most widely accepted theory, anatomically modern humans evolved in sub-Saharan Africa 300,000 years ago. Between 250,000 and 270,000 years ago, a group of early Homo sapiens left Africa or Arabia for Eurasia. They were cousins to all living humans, and they were much more like us than Neanderthals. But the two-way flow of genes from Africa to Eurasia suggests that Homo sapiens have been present outside of Africa for a long time. Anatomically modern humans remained primarily in sub-Saharan Africa, until the out-of-Africa expansion of modern humans 75,000 years ago, according to genetic and archaeological evidence. Then a small group of anatomically modern humans migrated from sub-Saharan Africa, and populated the rest of the world during the out-of-Africa expansion. Anatomically modern humans met Neanderthals in Eurasia an archaic human that split from anatomically modern humans between 550 and 760, 5,000 years ago. There is evidence of earlier migrations of anatomically modern humans from Africa that did not contribute significantly to the genomes of anatomically modern human populations outside of Africa, in addition to the primary migration of anatomically modern humans out of Africa within the last 75,000 years. Indeed, Early migrations of anatomically modern humans from Africa introduced anatomically modern human ancestry into Neanderthal genomes via introgression. The observation that Neanderthal mitochondria come from an Homo sapiens source that introgressed into Neanderthals between 268 and 413,000 years ago has implied that Neanderthals carry some gene variants derived from anatomically modern humans. Furthermore comparisons of the nuclear genomes of Neanderthals and anatomically modern humans revealed that the Altai Neanderthal, which lived 122,000 years ago, has 6% anatomically modern human ancestry from interbreeding between anatomically modern humans and Neanderthals that occurred between 200 and 300,000 years ago. Estimates of anatomically modern human to Neanderthal introgression based on mitochondrial and nuclear genomes both predate the diversification of extant anatomically modern humans. But any group of anatomically modern humans who left Africa prior to the diversification of extant modern humans, to live within the Neanderthal habitat's Eurasian range, would not be expected to have contributed directly to the current human gene pool. Anatomically modern human to Neanderthal genetic introgression that occurred prior to the out-of-Africa expansion are referred to as anatomically modern human introgressed regions by genetic scientists. The relatively consistent amount of total anatomically modern human introgressed region sequence, an average anatomically modern human introgressed region size identified across all sub-Saharan African population, s suggests that all modern anatomically modern humans share the same common ancestor as anatomically modern humans, who interbred with Neanderthals. The total length of anatomically modern human introgressed regions, identified within the Altai Neanderthal genome is interpreted as the proportion of their genome that is of anatomically modern human origins. Yet, it is unknown exactly where the Neanderthals and early modern humans interbred 250,000 years ago. Most likely it should be somewhere in the Middle East, or possibly the Caucasus region. As stated, scientists estimate that 5.56% to 6.83% of the Altai Neanderthal genome is of 
anatomically modern human origin, after correcting for haplotype errors, and focusing on anatomically modern human introgressed regions identified in populations, with little or no Neanderthal introgressed regions. The new estimate of Homo sapiens genes in the Altai Neanderthal is significantly higher than a previous estimate of 0.1% to 2.1%, and refines previous estimates of 3% to 7% and 1% to 7.1%. In fact, the mean anatomically modern human to Neanderthal introgression implies a time span of 4,790, six generations, between the anatomically modern human to Neanderthal introgression and the birth of the Altai Neanderthal. This is assuming a 122,000-year-old Altai Neanderthal fossil, and a human generation time of 29 years. Therefore, anatomically modern humans and Neanderthals interbred 261,075 years ago. Estimates from other populations, with low proportions of Neanderthal introgressed regions, range from 4,235 to 5,250 generations before the Altai Neanderthal. The ages of three of these dates, around 250,000 and 120,000 years ago, coincide with warm global temperatures that were preceded by low maxima as recorded in analyses of Antarctic ice core records. The picture is consistent with a Eurasian Homo sapiens population that passed three cold-related bottlenecks, each of which was followed by population expansion and concomitant dispersal. Although the coincidence between the timings of the molecular estimates and climatic changes might not be absolute, they underline the scenario of oscillating climatic conditions that are likely to have affected vegetation and population, structures among both humans and their prey, in connection with changes in sea levels and routes of dispersal. Furthermore the different geographical and length distributions of anatomically modern human and Neanderthal introgressed regions, support a three-event model of anatomically modern human and Neanderthal gene flow. First, an early anatomically modern human migration out of Africa resulted in an anatomically modern human Neanderthal, introgression event 250,000 years ago, resulting in homologous regions identifiable, as anatomically modern human introgressed regions present in extant human populations. Many parts of the Neanderthal genome were depleted of these introgressions, due to selection against hybrid individuals, most likely as a result of recent speciation. This resulted in the Altai Neanderthal having 6% anatomically modern human ancestry, though earlier Altai Neanderthal ancestors would have had a higher proportion of anatomically modern human ancestry. According to the study, the coexistence of Neanderthals and an early group of anatomically modern human introgressed regions in Eurasia, 250,000 years ago, which gave rise to anatomically modern human introgressed regions, is required. Now, genetic evidence shows that the idea of a Homo sapiens population confined to Africa until 75,000 years ago is incorrect. According to a second study, despite early reservations among phylogeneticists with experience beyond the genus Homo, the molecular out-of-Africa hypothesis has been widely accepted among population geneticists for over 35 years. The paleontological support for the hypothesis is also questionable a situation that has become more pronounced in recent decades as Eurasian paleontological knowledge has grown. Prior to the diversification of all extant human lineages, modern anatomically modern human ancestors diverged from modern anatomically modern human ancestors. This event occurred more than 100,000 years before most estimates of the deepest divergences between modern human groups, those separating Coesan and Central African hunter-gatherer populations from all other human lineages which occurred between 150 and 285,000 years ago, and more than 100,000 years before the out-of-Africa expansion of anatomically modern humans. According to one controversial theory, these results are consistent with the paleontologically established presence of Homo sapiens in Eurasia, and an Eurasian divergence among the ancestors of extant Homo sapiens 250,000 years ago, at the exodus of early Homo sapiens into Africa. In other words, Homo sapiens were present in Eurasia 250,000 years ago, and migrated into Africa at this time. The Herto and Omo specimens from Ethiopia are possible evidence of this exodus from Arabia into Africa at this time. This early diverged group of anatomically modern humans' presence is also consistent with archaeological evidence of anatomically modern humans in the Levant and southeastern Europe, between 170 and 210,000 years ago. This includes the Apodima and Mislia cave partial fossils. 
There is also evidence of archaic Homo sapiens in East Asia, such as the Dali skull and other, but we won't open that can of worms in this video. The age and nature of the archaic Homo sapiens Asian fossils at Dali, New Cave, Jinyashan and Zujiayao fossil skulls are of particular interest in this respect, as their ages of 250,000 to 270,000 years, underline the Eurasian existence of archaic Homo sapiens at a time that precedes or coincides with the basal divergence among the ancestors of living Homo sapiens. The redating of the fossils at the Jebel Erhoud site in Morocco, which increased their age by 100,000 years, compared to an earlier study of the same site, renders the fossils of interest for the discussion of early Homo sapiens evolution, in the light of the deepest divergence among recent humans 250,000 years ago. These dates are also consistent with previous inferences of Homo sapiens ancestry in late Pleistocene Neanderthal mitochondria, 268 to 413,000 years ago, and the distribution of reconstructed gene tree depths from the Neanderthal genome fitting. Between 40 and 54,000 years ago, modern humans interbred with Neanderthals. As a result of this interbreeding, Neanderthals account for 2% to 3% of non African anatomically modern human genomes. Natural selection has removed this Neanderthal ancestry from specific genes, but the mechanism by which selection operates is unknown. Because Neanderthal anatomically modern human interbreeding occurred outside of Africa, following the out of Africa expansion, populations descended entirely from sub Saharan African lineages are unlikely to have significant amounts of Neanderthal introgression in their genomes. But the proportion of non sub Saharan African ancestry varies greatly across sub Saharan African populations. Eurasian ancestry estimates in populations, particularly in East Africa, range as high as 50% due to migration and admixture over the last several thousand years. This recent gene flow from Eurasian anatomically modern human populations into sub-Saharan Africa may have resulted in regions of some sub-Saharan African genomes deriving from Neanderthal introgression. The anatomically modern humans who gave rise to these anatomically modern human introgressed regions occupy a distinct position in human phylogenetic history. This lineage may prove to be a powerful resource for identifying more recent targets of natural selection in modern humans, and disentangling early population divergences in modern human history as an outgroup to extant anatomically modern humans, but far more closely related to extant humans than archaic humans like Neanderthals and Denisovans. These ancient humans also vanished when modern humans crossed Eurasia, which was no accident. But who were they if they weren't modern Homo sapiens or our forefathers, and they weren't modern Homo sapiens either? Whatever it was, it appears that something happened to set us apart from others. Even when compared to other Homo sapiens, modern humans appear to be profoundly strange. We developed abilities that no other humans possessed, such as the ability to create and destroy things. Unlike other humans, we evolved the ability to shape not just a few rocks into tools, but entire species and the earth itself to suit our needs. We accomplished amazing, and sometimes terrifying, feats that no other human species had ever accomplished. Something changed us into a different kind of human, which altered our fates.